So it's very nice to see you again, Mimi. We've been reading about some of the action that's happening in that area, and uh, it seems to have intensified. Do you feel that being there? On my way up here, we were rocketed three times. Um, I was in the public affairs office, and we had to sprint out and um, take cover in a bunker, and we were in there for a long time. It was scary. And then on the Black Hawk that I was on, I was actually, it was, you know, pitch black. They fly by uh, night vision goggles coming up, you know, up, up the mountains into Kunar, and all of a sudden, mach- a burst of machine gun fire. We were shooting down, and I guess we had gotten shot at. You know, it's hard to know exactly what's going on. That was, you know, the first time I've been shot at inside of a helicopter. So you went on a mission today. What was that mission? I went with Lieutenant Lucky, who's the head of the female engagement team here, who's really the only female engagement team member in northern Kunar. Um, She grabbed a couple of female soldiers, three of them, to come along. The mission was to show these women how to use these water filters and then give them to them. And it was, it was quite interesting because we, first I went in with Lieutenant Lucky and the three female soldiers. You know, the women took their burkas off and even though I had my camera, I took a little coaxing and, you know, we were in a courtyard together and it was quite an, you know, an open, interesting environment. And then because the filters were being presented by this group out of Hawaii and their, their men, they asked if they could come in. And so that was sort of an issue. And then uh, the women decided, okay, they could come in if they wore their burkas. So then we're sitting there in the courtyard and these women are through the burka, learning and putting together these water filters. Twist, now it's locked. We need a bunch of that. Good. You can put it right here so that yep, absolutely. And then they put a burqa on me, actually. They, they wanted me to try a burqa on it. And I wore one for a little bit to sort of get, a, get an inside view of what that's like. How did that feel? It was very interesting. At first I thought, well, God, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. You know, it's sort of, sort of like this mesh screen, but it's really, you know, there's a lot of holes in it. But then you realize you have no peripheral vision. And then afterwards we, we ate and the men were outside and eating and the women, we all sat inside. A lot of the women left, but some of them stayed and they took off their burqas and, you know, and, and we were eating and, and talking and talking a little bit about politics and what's going to happen when the Americans leave, etc. What is the nature of that conversation? You know, this is a generation of women that they're like in their 40s, I want to say. They recall that time when, you know, they wore skirts and sleeveless shirts and, and they're educated and they're here in Kunar and they're doing their best. They're teachers and, and, you know, they're in an elevated position, so to speak. And they think it's all going to basically go to hell when, when the Americans leave. 